Peace and blessings, brothers. Brothers, if you are a black man, particularly a young black man who is starting out, if you are under the age of 30 and you want to develop, you want to grow, you want to have prosperity, you want to achieve things in life, you want to go forward. It's important that you study black men who are more advanced than you. If you want to increase your value, your social value, your economic value, value in terms of health, value in terms of your mental well-being. You must study other men, men who excel, men who have achieved. This is why Mr. Kevin Samuels is important. Kevin Samuels right now is modeling something to black men particularly young black men. He is teaching young black men what it means to achieve, to strive for more, to be more than what they are. In terms of discipline, in terms of self-restraint, in terms of goal-seeking, in terms of having a vision. He's teaching black men, young black men in particular, especially those young black men who grew up without having the resource of a traditional father, a father in the home, a father who was dedicated to the development and the well-being of his son or sons. A father who works in relationship to his son in ways that propels the son to high achievement, high heights. On his show, when he does his broadcast, he is teaching young black men what it means to read, what it means to vet, what it means to sift through people, human beings, women in particular, those who can add value to your life, who can be a benefit to you versus those who subtract from your life, those who are lying abilities, giving you practical wisdom asking the right questions, being analytical, being methodical in one's personal relationships. And this is what you do, not simply in terms of your relationships with women, the opposite sex, but this is how you navigate the world, writ at large, other human beings. What Kevin Samuels is doing right now is what Christian churches, Christian ministers have failed to do over the last 50 years. And I'll say this in particular, black churches, black ministers, they failed. They failed black men. They failed young black men in particular in terms of giving young black men the tools, the wisdom, and insight necessary to navigate American society. So Mr. Samuels is stepping into a void, a vacuum, left by the so-called religious institutions who have been in a position to do this type of work.
But more significantly, Mr. Samuels is teaching young black men what it means to elevate, to raise your standards. The model of masculinity that Kevin Samuels is presenting is a kind of masculinity, unfortunately, brothers, which has been derided, which has been trivialized within black society. Yes, Mr. Samuels is a professional black man, well-educated, well-spoken, um, socially adept black men. We have vilified these figures. We have elevated other types of men, men who are not, not as advanced, men whose shelf life is very limited. And what I'm talking about are the entertainers, the rappers, the comedians, the athletes, those black men caught up in a world of immediate gratification, short-term money, short-term success, and quick failure. We've elevated those figures over and above black men who have worked through discipline, intellectual development, and achievement. Working class black men, those who are in the skilled trades, the electricians, the carpenters, the plumbers, the HVAC people, and those black men who are in the professions, those who have college degrees, advanced degrees, the lawyers, the engineers, the astrophysicists, so on and so forth. Men who have staying power, men who have longevity, the men who have the greatest impact in terms of leaving a legacy to the next generation. And Mr. Samuels, in his own way, has brought these latter figures back into the fray. I recognize everything that he's doing because I personally happen to be one of those men who in my own journey looked at black men who are more advanced than me, black men who were smarter than me, who had more, who lived a better life. And I studied those men. And I pursued my own path in light of the insights that I gained from studying those men. I got close to them, I talked to them, I took in the game. This is why Kevin Samuels is important. In this space right here, we must continue to push the demand for black men, young black men, men in particular, to raise their standards, to pursue higher values, to become more than what they are, to not accept mediocrity, to not confine themselves to the limits that have been imposed upon them vis-a-vis -vis their relationship with American society, to not be held back by their backgrounds. Raised by single parents, 
coming out of impoverished conditions or conditions where you had limited resources, not having enough mentors, male figures in your lives, dealing with challenges in terms of educational advancement, economic advancement, navigating American society. A condition I come from that you don't have to be held back by that indefinitely. That if you want to, you can elevate in the face of those challenges, those constraints. This is why Kevin Samuels and people like him are important. This is why Robert Smith is important. This is why Bob Johnson is important. Study these men. Become more as a black man. Strive for higher values. This is another BMI, BMA message to black men.